Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I would like to start thanking you uh, for your interest in our Language Reach Europe uh, project competition, yeah. Languages Pick Up. And um, I'm really very happy that we have Lithuanians as uh, second prize winners of this competition. It took me some time to discover your school, mm. uh, yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, um, it's great that finally we, uh, we had a chance to meet you mm. and um, award you with a prize that you deserve, really. Uh, my first question would be, um, why did you get interested in this competition? Who caught you attending? Who motivated attention? us to get... Or who mo motivated yeah, you? to do this video. So, we, we were just sitting in the class, in English class, and our teacher said, Hey boys, there is a competition on the internet which is called Languages Speak Up. And it's by the British Council. Do you want to enter? Because I know you're talented. You and Adamas can film a movie and just... Uh, maybe win, who knows, and I just got cut up really fast and I said, come on Adamas, let's do this movie and we're gonna win something or we're gonna do what we like, and uh, we decided to make a kind of new, not ordinary video, which is with music and with languages, so yeah, that's, that's how we, yeah. You did it very well, yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, there, there were so many fans within our British Council team who really? who, who liked your <laughs> rap and um, were telling me that um, you must have put much uh, effort into it. Mm -hmm. uh, we did. We did put a lot of effort because uh, there was a, a t time. I don't know how much time we had. We had about three weeks. Yeah, we, we, we were told three weeks before the competition deadline. About three weeks, yeah, yeah. So we had pretty much time to make this video, but we... Ended up doing it at the last minute. <laughs> at the last minute, yeah. So mm -hmm. before even uh, uh, making that video, um, uh, I was writing the words for about two weeks or even more. I don't, I don't quite remember, but... It, the, the hardest part was to write the words and uh, I really struggled how to write them and uh, I didn't know what to write exactly but I decided to write in English and to put some Lithuanian phrases and some Russian phrases that it could spice things up and um, so I did that and we recorded a song in, the, in Fluxus which, which is now closed sadly but we recorded there uh, demo version and I've, I've been recording there for three times I think from uh, two to four hours I wow. was just sitting there and just on and on the same words and uh, I learned them on in my mind like uh, without no paper so the, by heart, the, the, wow. by heart yes sorry and um, the funnest part was when we were out the streets and filming the video. That was the funnest part. Mm. Yeah. But uh, you, you, you did a really great job. And, and um, uh, no doubt you are talented. I mean, you are talented musicians, you are talented singers, you are talented um, lyrics well, writers. Well, I wouldn't <laughs> call this singing, I would just call this rapping, uh, rap, <laughs> rapping or I know just word playing, as yeah. in other words. Mm -hmm. It is just wordplay. You just put words that match each other mm -hmm. and it sounds perfect, actually. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe mm -hmm. it can sound horrifying, but... Well, it depends, yes. I, I have one more question for you, because okay. uh, this is the essence of the competition. So, what do learning languages mean to you? And what your uh, language profile is? I mean, what languages do you have uh, mm -hmm. in your... Profile. In, in, in my life and my profile, yes. Yeah. So I speak Lithuanian. I I understand Russian, but it kind it's kind of hard for me to speak in Russian. Well, I do enter Russian class. I write, I read, but it's a bit hard for me to understand. But I truly want to like speak freely in Russian. And the second language is of course English. The, the, the first second language and the second second language, mm. you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> is Russian, yeah. And um, yes, and Lithuanian, English and Russian are the three main languages that I 
know and speak. And uh, yeah, what was the question? Uh, and Thomas? Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah. I speak Lithuanian. I lived in Germany for half a year, so I speak German a bit and English. And since English, I've been watching cartoons, like oh, yeah, we yeah, said yeah, in the yeah. rap, mm. that cartoons were had the huge impact. Yeah, yeah huge mm. impact on <laughs> our language and uh, we kind of learned from the cartoons. I don't know, that sounds kind of silly, but it's true. But it's yeah. a good method yeah, yeah. <laughs> to pick up uh, language. Yeah. Yes. Right. Uh, and and, and more uh, on a more serious note, uh, do you do you think uh, that languages will help you either grow in your um, academic career or um, uh, when you have to look for a job, would languages help you? Do you do you really plan what languages you want to learn? Well, of well, course. Yeah. I mean, if, <laughs> if for my knowledge now, uh, David is going to study abroad. So he needs maybe, maybe, maybe a break. Later, later, yes. Maybe yes. after four years of uh, here studying here, I, I think I'll go abroad. So I'll definitely need English, and uh, yeah, that I will need English. And uh, poo, 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 what else? <laughs> what else for me? Uh, I had a mm, yes. Uh, I was planning to go abroad. That's why I took uh, German lessons strong German lesson in A class, mm -hmm. but um, now my plans are kind of taking another route and I won't be needing German, but I'm still learning it, I'm listening to German groups, I'm uh, watching German movies with subtitles in English. So. Mm. And you said before that we might need another language to find a job or something else, so I think yeah it's a plus if you want to find a job, but I think that learning another language for me is uh, more th than just finding a job because if you want to travel and see more different people you just learn their language and go abroad and just see how people live there and uh, if you speak their language it's re really pleasant for them to understand what, you, what you're saying and understand what they are saying to you. That, mm. that, that's, I think that's the biggest plus mm. if to study a different language. Yeah. So if you could what uh, what language would you add to your portfolio now? So, um, oh, <laughs> oh that's a big question. Uh, I, I think, think I would have to go with French. I think I would go with uh, I don't know, no French really. Yeah, I, I, no offense, but I don't really like Russian language. I I don't know why. <laughs> I, I think I would want to learn Russian really well because there are relatives who speak in Russian and it's kind of difficult to not communicate with them freely. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I would like to speak with them freely in Russian and, and any language they speak actually. Mm. So it would be better for me. Um, I can hear your English is perfect. It's really uh, fluent. perfect, fluent, <laughs> good vocabulary, good fluency, mm. good grammar, uh, pronunciation better than mine. <laughs> what yeah. helps you to, to pick up English? How Cartoons. young people uh, only cartoons? No, no, no. no. Oh, now, now in the beginning, now? In the yeah. beginning okay. cartoons helped us a lot. Mm. Of course, watching movies, English class, the Music. grammar, the reading, the pronunciation comes not only from hearing music or watching movies. Pronunciation comes when you talk a lot in English yeah. and I talk with Adamas a lot in English. Mm. We're talking half Lithuanian, half English. Really? I say, hey, Labas Adama Gipsagas, and he says, how are you doing? Eh, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's an interesting way to communicate with friends, yes. Do you feel English is becoming your uh, first language uh, in terms of uh, in addition to your native language? Mm, I could not say that because I speak with my family in Lithuania and I speak with, well, the, be the big part of uh, my friends in Lithuanian too, so English is, well, I don't know, it's kind of a second language. If I need to speak in English, I speak in English, like right now, mm. <laughs> that other people con could understand what I'm talking about mm. here, so mm -hmm. abroad, yeah. So, um, 
again, I started with thanks and I have to finish uh, with thanks because uh, whether you want it or not, yeah. you uh, became our uh, language ambassadors. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> well, we do hope that um, you, 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 your, uh, your example might inspire other people to think about uh, learning languages and probably to think about um, the, the reasons why we need more yes. languages than one or two. Yes, yes exactly. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.